Hello, Virgo. So let's go ahead and get started. Pulled some cards from Sandra Ann Taylor's Energy Oracle Card Deck, as well as Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels, Magical Messages from the Fairies, and her Saints and Angels deck. So let's go ahead. The first card we have is Door to Value. And if you see, there's a, the doors are open. There's just money and coins just flying in. Beautiful scenery on the other side. You have flowers. So blooming, blooming abundance. So I get for, for a number of you, this is like unexpected financial abundance coming in. I'm getting for some of you, it's, it's like an inheritance that's going to be coming your way. And I, and I get it's totally unexpected, totally a, a new beginning where finances and money is concerned because I, I get that the abundance will be for a number of you totally unexpected and a large amount so that it will help you pursue the, the dreams, the goals, the things that you have in mind. So for some of you, maybe you've wanted to start your own business for a long time. Maybe you wanted to start um, investing in real estate. This money is going to help you pursue those dreams and goals, which will continue to keep additional abundance, financial abundance flowing in for you. So congratulations. Now the next card we have here, if you can see that is storm warning. And you know, it, it, it's talking about emotional clouds on the horizon, be it, be it emotional difficulty challenges on the external world with um, a family member, a lover, spouse, or within yourself, but but it is, is it is something that's emotionally tied. So there's some emotional turbulence, an emotional storm headed your way. For some of you, it may be a family member that's upset about the inheritance that you're going to be receiving. Maybe you were close to an aunt, and that aunt left everything to you in her estate and didn't leave your younger brother anything, and that causes some strife between the two of you. For some of you, I get it, that's gonna be with a, a it's with a, a partner, a spouse, you're, it's with your lover. You're going to discover something ab 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 about them, something that they've done. This is just a warning. It's not something to be fearful of. It's just a warning so that you can be conscious of the things that are occurring so that you can be head into the situation with some calm, you know, so you can look at it with some clarity. You can observe everything. And so that you can also look at the options and be able to look at it clearly. And, and for a number of you, you know, you're going to have to actually stand up for yourself. You're going to stand up on your own behalf. You're going to have to take action. You're going to have to have difficult conversations. And the angels are going to help you with that. And, and they're wanting to, to also remind you that, you know, with all storms, every storm passes. So this too shall pass. And, and again, it's just, it's just a warning so that you can better navigate through that when it, when it does happen. Next card we have is get some exercise. And at the bottom it says, as your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. So, you know, exercise, you know, exercise is the key to energy as, as, as feeling, you know, energetic, it healthier, it reduces our stress. It improves all areas of our life. It's the key to happiness, health, energy, abundance. So they're encouraging you to get out and get some exercise. And, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, get on a treadmill or go running 18 miles. It can just simply be, you know, go out and do something that's active. You know, go play, go dance, go, go kayaking, go, go for a hike, go do something that you enjoy. That's also going to get you some exercise, going to get your cardiovascular system going. It's going to stimulate your, your muscular system. And for some of you, they're really saying that this is, is essential to relieving your stress. So for those of you that are going to be going through this, you know, emotionally trying, turbulent time, you know, do some yoga. Do some yoga, some exercise. It'll calm your nerves. It'll get you back to a place of calm and peace that you can look at it and a, a more of an obser a more of an observation fashion instead of um attacking you know clouded way to look at things and for some of you you know you've got anger and frustration you go to a driving range go hit, smack some balls on a driving range because that'll help alleviate some of your stress and it'll also get those endorphins going give you a little bit of energy a little bit of um a little bit of exercise it also get you out in the sun which helps with all the endorphins and the chemicals as well to to lift your spirits and, and get you to a better, happier place. So they are encouraging you to do that because it, it's going to help with everything that you're you're going through. Now this bottom row, this is talking about love. The first card that we have is chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So 
I get for some of you, you know, you've met someone new and you know, you're really told toward this person. You really, you're really attracted to them. You're drawn to them. You know, you got all these butterflies going on in your stomach, but you know, you've really been hurt in the past. So you're kind of hesitant to pursue that because you're worried, you know, are they, they going to hurt me like the last gal or guy did, you know, are they going to do the same things to me? So, so instead of allowing yourself to just enjoy that butterfly moment that excitement that 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 bliss that you're having it's actually bringing stress on you and and, and a number of you are actually wanting you're going into like a fight or flight mode and and you're wanting to just fly <laughs> go away fly away from the potential relationship because of the fear of the unknown so what they're wanting you to know is that, that there is a genuine reason for this chemistry that you you don't need to be worried you don't need to be afraid this is you shouldn't, you know, leave them because of something that someone else has done to you in the past because this person, they are trustworthy. And so they're giving you a green light to go ahead and move forward because this chemistry with this person, it, it's mutual. You both are feeling it. And it's actually something that is, is meriting your, your, your pursuit, your following up on. So don't, don't fly away from the situation. Don't fly away from him or her just yet do some further exploration of that relationship because something beautiful could indeed blossom from it from it now the next card we have is deception and on the bottom it says someone is wearing a false self ma self mask in this relationship so what they're saying is this is for a number of you that you know are in a relationship some of you are married some of you are in a relationship with someone and and what they're they're, they're trying to let you know is to be be aware of deception in that relationship. And, and for some of you, it's it's mild, but they're saying for some of you, you you're in this new relationship and you know that person doesn't wanna hurt your feelings uh, or they don't wanna shock you, they don't wanna alarm you, so they're wearing a mask. They aren't really letting you know who they are. So, because they're afraid if you really knew who they were, you wouldn't be attracted to them, you would like, leave them. But they have to take off the mask so you can truly see who, who they are because you may very well love them for who they are or you may say okay that's a game changer of mine but but they're wearing a mask they're not being forthright with you and and for some of you i get you know you're in a committed relationship and, and you're being deceived that person is cheating on you they have stepped out of the relationship and, and i get that there are there are red signs i mean there are red flags and there are signs for you to pay attention to but they're saying that, that pay attention to those because you're getting them for a reason there, there's something that your partner your lover is not disclosing to you and for a very small number, it, it's you that's wearing the mask. So they're encouraging you to take the mask off. Now they are saying for and some of you that are wearing the mask, um, for some of you that is the lesser, you know, the lesser form of deception if you're going to rate them, that it's more of the, okay, you've got this new love partner. I don't know, maybe you don't wanna let them know that you're into S&M because you're afraid it'll freak them out and they'll go running. But they're saying you, you need to share those those things with your partner because you if you really do want it to grow and blossom into a committed long-term relationship, you need to be able to share those things openly because that, that that's who you are. And, and the person will either love you and accept you as you are, in which case they're the partner that's meant to be with you, or they won't, in which case you'll go find the partner that you are meant to be with. So but they are saying for a number of you, there, there is some deception going on. Be it on your end, be it on their end, um, but they are encouraging you. And, and I get for some of you, that's actually the thing that's going to come up that's going to cause all this emotional turbulence, which is why you're going to need to get some exercise and de-stress, and, and it's going to come to the surface. For some of you, they're saying that some of you, they're in a situation where your, your, your spouse, your, your partner, your, your significant other has been cheating on you. They're, they're saying, lying to you, deceiving you. They're saying it's been going on for a very long time, but you've been in denial because you've, you've not wanted the relationship to end. For some of you, it's because you've got kids. So you've just put up with it and tolerated it knowing that it's going on. But what's gonna happen is it's gonna finally get to the point that you can't ignore it any longer. You're going to have to deal with it and they, and they will help you with that. They're gonna help you get through that. So the final card that we have here. So this is a card I asked, how, how can you improve your love life? We have learning experience and this came up for one other sign too. And when you look at the card, you know, you've got an angel, she's holding this dove, she's about to let the dove go. Um, 
So what they're saying is for some of, for those of you that have been in the relationship and you're, and you're about to discover that person has been, you know, cheating on you, they've been unfaithful to you. For some of you, you're gonna discover that this person, you know, has a, has something that they've been hiding that's actually, it's a game changer for you. It's, it's something that will end the relationship for you. They're wanting you to know that it, that relationship with that person, it, it, it was simply an opportunity for you to learn some very important life lessons. So instead of looking at it negatively and, and, and bringing yourself down to a negative place, like, oh, how could, you know, he, she do this to me? Woe is me. I can't believe I've gone through this. I mean, because people tend to also get into a place of just anger and, and then that leads to bitterness and then that long term can, can keep them from meeting their, their soulmate, the, the person that they're meant to be with because when, when you're just supposed to be having a learning experience from someone, that's just preparing you for what's to come. So it very well could be that, okay, you, you had this experience and, and for some of you, you know, you're gonna learn to love yourself. For some of you, you you're gonna learn to forgive others. You're gonna be learning patience. But maybe there's very well something you're supposed to be learning from this relationship, this deception that's going to come out that you're going to be putting to use with your meant to be soulmate connection relationship that you're going to have. But you have to let that go and just accept that it was simply an experience for you to learn something, not allow it to make you bitter, not allow it to hold you back, but rather just let it go, accept it for the lesson that it was, look at it as though, okay, it was a blessing, it, some positive did come out of it, you've learned a lesson, you've grown, you've developed, you're, you're ready for the next thing that God has for you and prepare yourself to move forward. And they're saying, they're saying to pray and ask for their help and they will help you. So they're going to help you be able to clearly see the situation, see it for what it is. They're going to help you know what your action steps are, what the next steps are that you need to take. They're going to help you be able to heal, heal yourself. They're going to be able to heal your heart so you don't have any um, future blocks, bitterness, anger. They're also going to help you notice those signs, those feelings, that intuitive information that you're getting that's going to help bring this stuff to the surface so it can be dealt with. Also the intuitive guidance and information on how to how to move forward, what to do from there, what your next steps are. And, and they're gonna help you also take that, take the action steps that are necessary. So just lean on them for their help and uh, they will help you all along the way. So many thanks to everyone for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for all the comments. I do love hearing from you, love your feedback. Filled with a lot of love joy and blessings.